All right guys, if the camera is tilted and <laughs> crooked the entire time, we're just not gonna care about that. We're just gonna go on, we're gonna continue, we're gonna persevere because it just nothing was working out, like nothing at all. But I'm just gonna do it, we're gonna go for it. Just a quick little video. of how I did my makeup in high school. But the thing is, if I showed you that, I might, you know, take a trip down memory lane. I'm not necessarily trying to do that because uh, high school, <laughs> I was not cute. So it was rough, it was bad, but I was just doing my makeup the other day and I realized I've tried other things, but like this always, I always come back to this product. And then I was like, well, how long have I been using it for, you know? Oh my gosh, I've been using some of these products since high school. So I'm a senior in college now. I am about to graduate. I'm dying. So I'm really excited, but my makeup has progressed since high school a lot. I know I have a long way to go, but it's gotten a lot better, believe it or not. Even after I advanced, in my makeup taste and my techniques, these products have still stuck around. And I've tried, I've tried a lot. I've tried too much, too many. I, I talk about a lot of them a lot. So I talk about them a lot. I cannot speak, I cannot think. We're just gonna do this. So the first holy grail product I will talk about a million times. If you know me, you're sick of it and I'm sorry, but it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I have it on right now, I cried today. It's still on. What did smudge though? It's my foundation. It just, it was game over for me. I was addicted, because it's so good. And every time I try something else, I get very disappointed. Unless I'm going for a different kind of look, then I find things that I like a lot. But for like my everyday wing, I love this so much already. So in addition to that product, because I've talked about it a lot, also the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I get the original, the like the gold and the silver iridescent pink ones. I don't know what they are, but they're fun too. I like them a lot, but I just get the original because I'm used to it and I, I'm just, I'm boring and I like this one. Um, why change if you found something perfect, you know? I love this. It stays on, it stays on, especially with my eyeliner. So normally if I have like a rough day, if I get hit by a puddle, or if I, you know, accidentally get thrown into a pool, then my eye makeup is gonna stay on. Maybe not as like my foundation, like my concealer, you know, because that's hard if you're, you know, getting destroyed by rain. But it's really, really good, and I love it. I remember waking up in the mornings and just like whipping this out because I started with eyes. I think I still start with eyes sometimes. I just like like put it on, be in my mirror, think about my day. It was like 6 a.m. I'd have to get ready and go to school early. So my next favorite high school product that I still use almost every single day is the Kat Von D, in addition to the Trooper, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I think this is what it's called. Yeah, Shade and Light. But it's the contour palette. I don't even want to show you because I like destroyed... I destroyed it. I, a lot of times, I'll just refill one of these, or I'll just buy a whole new one, or I'll use this for like an eyeshadow. I don't use them quite as much, but I do have that like a backup base for my eyeshadow. Um, so that way everything just blends very well. This is it, I love it. It's kind of disgusting, kind of gross, sorry, but like that's the reality of it. I've gotten like two new full ones, and I think I just keep replacing like the different colors for the contour that I'm into. I like cream contour, but this just nothing compares to it, it blends very well and I don't really I'm not patient so I'm not patient with makeup <laughs> you know I should be but it blends very well for someone who especially doesn't want to take a lot of time but I don't know if you saw but we have two other products that I would sit down in the morning in high school and I would use and I still use and sometimes I get flashbacks from it but it's okay because it's so good you guys haven't heard MAC Lip Liner and MAC Lipstick, they are very, very good. They're expensive, just as most makeup products are. But I would say that their lip liner is incredible. It really keeps everything in. Because I've been using their lip liner for so long, I didn't realize that some people had problems with like the leakage, um, you know, going up their skin and smudging around their lips because I had just used this and I hadn't really tried a whole lot of other companies' lip liners. And so 
once I did try different ones. I found some that I love, but I also found some awful ones. I didn't know that was a thing because I just had such a good experience with this. So my favorite colors that of all time, I still use Oak and Strip Down. They're so good. I'll link them down below. I love them. I highly suggest you try them if you want like a bold but very neutral color. Sometimes they're a little more dramatic if I'm a little more pale, if I'm a little more tan, they look a little more neutral. And I absolutely love them. In addition to that, their lipstick is wonderful, but one specifically, Velvet Teddy. This is not it, <laughs> but this is Velvet Teddy and it's so good. It's like this pinky, more neutral pinky color. It's softer, absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I didn't really like lipsticks when I was in high school, but I did enjoy dabbing a little bit on here if I was really trying to look cute for a boy. The next thing that I would say I have held on to, both the Beauty Blender and the Real Tex Technique Sponge, you know, the orange one. I love the Beauty Blender and I love the Real Technique Sponge. And they, I kind of go back and forth between like what works for me. I think it depends on my makeup as well and the formula interacting with the sponge and just how it's applied and the application process. But I have probably had the Real Technique sponge longer and bought it more frequently than the Beauty Blender because I've been trying to save money. But I would say that those both are timeless. Like they're absolutely incredible. I love them. I have yet to find like a good dupe for them. I've tried a lot of Amazon sponges that people suggested. As far as putting on the actual foundation, I don't really like them. They're great for powder and stuff like that. But yeah, Beauty Blender and Real Technique sponge. I just, yeah, great. Love it. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, for mascara, I still use this every single day and I love it. I don't know. In my mind, I'm like, oh, the expensive mascara. Maybe it's better. But I haven't found one that I'm in love with yet. But I love the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I always mess it up every time I say it. It's so good. I put on quite a few layers. Here's my theory with this, though. It's getting really dark. I've had friends try this um, in, like, the brown or, like, the black. I get the darkest black the very very black or like oh I don't know what it is actually so I get the blackest black color that they have in in my opinion I don't know if I'm wrong but the formula is different than the lighter ones it's clumpier and like the other ones are more wet and it's great if you like that but the formulation for this one is like perfect I love it but I bought the wrong one during Christmas and I was like what is wrong and I always suggest it to people so I don't want to suggest something that's not like what I think it is, you know? I realized I just bought the wrong color and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe they're different formulas. That absolutely fell. So that's what I'm thinking happened or is the case. So get the blackest black color they have. It's like black noir or like very, very black. One of those. I don't know. I'm a mess. Thank you for sticking around. Okay. So the last product that I would say I'm absolutely and have been absolutely in love with since day one. That's the goal, right guys? is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I, like, guys, just nothing compares. There are some really, really great primers out there and I love them, but for what I go for for my everyday look, I really enjoy this right now. I still have, I have for the last, I'm gonna say eight years or so, eight, five to eight years. I don't remember when I started using primer. I would say that this is just a great, great product. There are also a lot of great primers out there. But this is what I used in high school. This is what I use now. I love the way it makes your makeup look. It goes well with my skin. Again, I'm very acne prone, very, very acne prone skin. And this has helped it um, not break out <laughs> because a lot of primers will do that to my skin because they can have a lot of oil in them or just the combination just does not work for me. Doesn't mean it won't work for you. So those are the makeup products that I would use in high school. There are a lot of other ones also, but those are ones that I use absolutely every day or almost every day. I don't know, I, I never really thought about it. Maybe I'll do the video, like how I did my makeup in high school, but I don't want to scare you guys, so maybe not. I would definitely say that these makeup products are timeless. I love them because even if I try new things, I know that I can trust them because I love trying new makeup products, don't get me wrong but I know that I'll always have like a good one to fall back on too. So I don't know if this helped you at all, but besides scaring you, I didn't think that showing you how I did my makeup in high school was gonna be super helpful. It might be funny, but I, it would probably be more scary than funny. So I did wanna kind of provide some value um, for you guys watching that these makeup products are very, very good. And they, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but they've lasted me so long. If you guys do try them, please let me know. I would love to see how they went for you. Um, if they're a hit or if they're a miss or if they're part of your holy grail crew now. I love you guys so much. 
I definitely have some fun things planned, so I hope you guys stick around. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. You guys are honestly so incredible. A lot of you guys have sent me emails recently, um, and it just like makes my day every time I get to hear from you guys. So thank you so much. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.